Thanks for staying with us. So, the executive music producer D1 Dayo Adede has berated women who feel that the front and the back, <laughs> their bodies are all they are bringing to the table. During the interview, um, this popular podcast, Honest Bunch Podcast, the music executive stated that most women feel that life is all about taking sexy photos that has their features on full display while waiting for men to slide into their DM. D1 further challenged women to come up with different skills they can offer as opposed to the fact that sex can't last forever. What are your thoughts on this? Join the conversation by calling us on 0810-7641-679. That's 0810-7641-679. Or you can call us on 090-241-63440. So, um, I'm not a fan of generalization of women. I feel that any, when, we, when we use social media algorithm that feeds you what you like to generalize that women are all about their bodies. Because when I watched that interview, I was just like, what? You know, but Mariam, what was your first thought? Hmm. I was incensed. <laughs> I was upset um, because of the generalization. And um, yes, I think everybody understands that. You know what? As a human being, male or female, you must, you must be responsible for yourself and those around you. You must have something that you're doing with your hands, your brain. Definitely, we understand that. But in these conversations I hear quite often, especially from men these days, is that you generalize all women and make them think that, all women, this is all that they think about, about showing their bodies and so that men can slide into their DMs, that these are all women feel that it's only their bodies that they can bring to the table. But there are many young girls, women, who are doing much more than that, you know. They know that they have the bodies, but they are also brilliant. They are, they are, they are heads of departments. They are, you know, they're just doing amazingly. The younger ones that we keep calling out, I have a 24-year-old niece who is a banker, who graduated with the first class, who, you know, she doesn't use an iPhone because she can't afford it and she doesn't care. You know, she's confident, she's bright, and there are so many more like her in church and places like that. You do not see that one because why? You are not attracted to those ones either. You're, there's a way, those girls will tell you that because they don't have that shape, they don't have that body part that they put on display, they don't get the attention from you men, you mm -hmm. successful men. You look for those ones who put everything on display. You validate it in the way that you, you, know, you, you reach out to them. The ones that are intelligent, the ones that want a relationship to get to know you first, who are not willing to just lay down you know, immediately, immediately. You, you, you don't want to talk to them. So when you talk about women displaying their body parts, why are they doing that? Who are they doing it for? Also talk about the people who are consuming that mm -hmm. sort of content, mm -hmm. the sort of people that are attracted to that sort of, of, of person. So it's a two-way street. It's not about just women. Because I understand how we want to encourage girls to do better, to study, to work. But it's not only a girl problem. Mm -hmm. It's also on the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. What are you doing as well? What is it that you find attractive? What is it that you are validating? So true. Yeah, mm. Dana here comes with a vast years of experience in himself, media. I'm an elder. He's not joking. He was a former lawmaker in Ogun State, former um, appointee as well, I think, with the executive in Ogun State. He has seen it. We were small like this. They used to do the Keke and Kini Kondi one show <laughs> that they have been. He's in this industry. He's talking from what he knows. Mm. It, is a, it is a goal for girls who want to, who have aspired or are already in the industry to have sellable backs and sellable fronts. In fact, they are made to look a certain way. Now we are seeing different shapes and sizes of all these things online. Young girls are aspiring to see, okay, even if I cannot make it in school, if I just have this, this gives me an edge. And sadly it does, we must admit. Because he that is talking, the side he did not take, I want to agree with Miriam, is that the consumer side. Who are those who are patronizing the girls whose, who's, what is that? <laughs> whose girls are, who are, you know, um, looking that way? There are these um, influencers, about a, couple, a group of them, that suddenly all traveled and came back looking all funny. Uh -uh, not all yes, funny. They're they all looking, looking a specific yeah, way. Ah, it's not for everybody. That, you know, I always say this thing that I cannot use an iPhone. 
because I cannot, I don't have the time for the English. That's how it is not for everybody. Mm. You have a certain body look, and you go and the, the person that is doing surgery did not see the way God made you to compliment it. You just go and put it, just paste it, and then you Copy look funny. And paste. You look funny. You look in the mirror. You don't love how you came. We are not seeing enough of those videos. There was one that they were targeting online, and I hated the comments only for me to look. I was like, who did this body? That's the truth. Because God in his mercies has perfected you, but you wanted something that will be outrageous. And you didn't get it. So, well, no, some people look good. Another topic. We're not talking no, about no, no. I'm saying. just saying that this is a pandemic. You mm. see this thing he referred to? It's a pandemic, and if we're not careful, every young girl will aspire this way. Every young girl will aspire to it. It's so getting are, so popular. You are acknowledging the, the, the increase in the in numbers. The numbers. Initially, but it was just a few. It is not generalized. Worry. It's not mm -hmm. every woman. Yes. It's not all. Oh, but women we don't want, I don't want my daughter's generation to get to the point where it is over normalized because we are beginning to normalize it. When it started, it used to be just few of them. Then a few top influencers went like, well, it's my body. It's not your money. We don't crazy. think about how this affects. We cannot let our young girls change their goal from but being brilliant, Bonima, are you successful sure young girls. We're, so we're, we're not judging the majority by the minority on social media. Yes, hmm. so okay. fear. Sadly, yes. are you some sure? are not even on social media. Are you sure that Two, we're not judging? Two, three have been seen by family members making a video of them and making, it, uh, making ugly comments about how the surgery turned out. And there are not even any of these influencers. So it's, gone, it's gotten deep. So for you, you think it's just a change? Yes, trend? I think it should stop immediately. Toby, what was your first, your initial opinion when you watched the video I, at, about um, D1's comments um, on women and the way they are, body, they are body conscious that this is what I bring to the table? I think that what you see is what you find. What you look for is what you find. Mm. So for people that are already thinking of that. What you see on social media, what you think about is what you find. So for instance, I can just be having a random conversation with you. Somehow we'll realize that when we check our phones, we'll see that exact thing we're speaking about. So the consciousness already just brings it out. And I do not agree with the fact that um, women are all that or are all about that because the people that I see, the people I look up to, the people that I follow on social media have sense. They, ha they are intelligent. They're not all that. So I look at the ladies of your view, for instance, before I joined the show, and I'm like, ah, ah, these are really, really outstanding women. And when I go on social media, obviously, those are the kind of people I see. So at the end of the day, I don't think it's a function of what it is that is happening in the world today. You will just find out that what you're looking for is what you would find. And then I also say that for people that have um, assets, big fronts, big back, Right? So for people like us that don't have, that means we don't have anything to give in this life, right? But it should be more than that, obviously, and it is actually more than that. And I think that that narrative of um, preaching or saying that if you don't have the front or you don't have the back or it's not so attractive or looking in a certain way, you can't be that and much more. You can actually be other things and be successful at it also. So I do not agree with him at all. So, um, but, but you know, there, there was something that Murayo said, and I think it's extremely important that is there anything wrong with bringing this to the table if this is what i have and i maintain this well and i mean this i mean like the full the package of my body that god blessed me and then i went on the surgical journey to enhance and i am bringing this to the table and i am giving the man peace of mind and any boy or man that wanders my way would have pleasures forevermore from my body Amen. is that a problem hmm. if i am doing this because we have people that have used their body to get themselves on that pedestal on their journey him did a, was a sex tape that she used to blow <sighs> Toke also has done her body and that body is a major selling hey. tool of course i'm not saying Toke doesn't have a sharp mind she's doing and business she that podcast emceeing all of that but the body was part of what she brought hey. to the table so are we also not talking about the fact that this can be enough to bring to the table as a woman? We'll take a break. When we come back, you can agree or disagree with me. Make a phone call to join the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, and thank you for staying with us. So we're discussing about what um, D1, Adayo Adenaye, said on the Honest Bunch podcast. And the question that I posed to the ladies was, is it, a wrong, is it wrong for a woman to bring her body to the table? Hmm. Um, so personally, I feel that you should 
your body is your body. You come with it, you know. I feel that's like low-hanging fruit. Mm. I feel that every human being should come with more. Develop yourself. It's not for anyone. It's for yourself. You will definitely be a happier, more fulfilled person. But people also have figured out the world. These worldly people, they, are, they figured out worldly um, um, desires. They know what people want. And so um, to sort of get a you know, like a shoe in quickly or something. So they, they arrange themselves in such a way that it will catch their attention. You know, my husband says that there's, we know what can catch your attention, but do, we, but do you know what can keep it? There's a difference between what can catch your attention and what, and what can keep it. So what can keep attention is who you are, your personality, your hard work, your, your personal development. So definitely all human beings should have that. But if you have decided as a person that this is what you are, and what you want to bring to the table, you understand that it has an expiry date. Mm. But also, when I say that, a footballer understands that football career too has an expiry date. If mm. you're a young 19-year-old footballer doing your football till you reach a certain... So everything has an expiry date. And everyone, no matter where it is that you find yourself, you're constantly building yourself. I do not like the fact... I, I don't encourage this body thing because of all the things that come with it where you have these um, leeches, these men with no scruples who want to just use women's bodies. So that's why I will not uh, encourage a woman to put herself on that sort of, um, you know, um, she not make herself that sort of object, you know, that you attract those sorts of people. Because people like that, really, they don't really want the best for you. They just want what they can grab from you and take from you. So as a young girl, now I'm talking like, as a young girl looking to, at the world, I'm, Getting a certain age, what sort of woman do I want to be? I see these girls looking a certain way and I see all these men. I would say to her that, you know what, have much more than that. Mm. All these people, you're catching yeah. their attention, but after a while, there's so many more like you that will come and then they'll move on. But what do you want for yourself? Do you want to last longer, you know, whatever it is that you're doing? So, so I'll, I'll, yeah. take, I'll take your miss call and I'll come back to the conversation from Nima's perspective. Yomi from Lokoja, welcome to the show. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Go ahead, you're on live TV. Okay, so pertaining the topic you introduced this morning, a nice one, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I would like to, yes, I would like to go the part of a name. Okay. The truth is that uh, most of the things going on these days, I can't even guarantee the next 10 or 15 years that we have a uh, we have uh, more women that we can even present outside there. Because presently, now, if you look at what is happening in the social media, we have most of these things outside social media. Not the issue of... Most people are not even in social media. Most of these people are not even in social media. So, please and please, we will not want to encourage this, because if you are to look at the way women are now these days, it's not good that we generalize. We cannot even generalize, but we still have the good ones there. But the way it's going now, we'll see that even most of our uh, kids now, 17, 18, they are into all these things. And this is affecting society. Okay, I mean, but At who is encouraging age? it? No, I'm not saying that we're encouraging it, no. but I think that what I'm saying is that the media... What do you media, think is encouraging it? What do you think is encouraging it? Actually, if you look at it from the parents' side, that is from the family... Okay, 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 I can hear you now. So what is encouraging mostly is the financial benefit for me. Who is bringing in the financial it's benefits? Those that are consuming the product. Why are the people consuming the products? Okay, if you have to ask me why are those consuming the product, these are the people making money from this same content. Most men, that is why when you look at it, most men don't okay, even go for this. Ask me the questions. <laughs> Hello? No, no, no. What I'm trying to say now is that most men following these thoughts, mm. eh, don't let, they, they don't settle with these people at the end of the day. Mm. They don't settle with them. They only make you use them to gather influence. After gathering influence, get some likes and comments and all that, they move on. Okay, That's um, the reality. Thank you so much, um, Akwemi. So I wanted to say that I'm not a consumer of that kind of news because it's, to say such is to not know me. Mm. But if the way he pops up on news pages, blogs, and all of that, that one person has done this, one person has you know uh, been affected from doing it, 
And what exactly is the goal? Myself, YK, and Jumoke had this conversation. What is the goal behind the body? Beyond, you know, first putting your leg in. You said something about keeping the attention. What exactly do you then do to keep the attention? Should we call it what it is? You were asking Adeyemi. Mm. Should we say what it is? You know, at the back of it, there's something that is so uh, negative. You don't want a young girl to think it. Talk less of knowing it and practicing it. What exactly do you... This, if you say somebody is smart, she's intelligent, that is more than enough to go any length you want to go in life. Let me take Kendi from the showbo. Uh, we are rewarding it. And that's what I wanted, I wanted him to get to. When something... If you don't want something to be encouraged... But we just said now it, that it's because Dio it. was the one consuming it. That's why... We are not facing the reality that in the media and entertainment business in Nigeria now, is there is a it. pandemic on that, on that issue. Hey, and they we cannot allow women to think that's the only thing you can bring. I'm, I'm interesting. It's interesting that we got a call from Lokoja and from Oshobo. Is it, is it, are these things happening over there as well, or you are only seeing it on social media? Yeah, good morning. My good morning, Kendi. Kendi. Welcome. Yeah. Actually, it's so unfortunate that uh, we degraded the woman's folk this level in our country particularly. We only don't have a situation where we respect the woman as a woman. Today, even in advertisement, women are placed in the front, mm. almost naked. The media has its own fault. And sincerely speaking, parents here are really not doing well. The, uh, the, 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 the model of they come today, want to see a woman dressed in a particular way. All of those followers want to copy. It shows that what you that they see on TV do, mm. they really want to do it out there too. Mm. So there's a need for us to really watch mm. it. Parents in particular, mm. they allow their words today, allow children to take decisions on their own because of the fact that they want to give freedom of everything. The freedom is now being abused. Mm. We should have a situation where there will be discipline. We should return the discipline to our various homes. But Kende, have you seen anybody within Oshobo with surgically enhanced body? Ah. I, think I do hear about it, but I've not seen one. Is that, so this thing that was saying is, thank you so much for calling. This thing that was yeah. saying, oh, this thing is rampant. Are we not talking just about the cities and the celebrities? Maybe a few individuals doing it, not necessarily rampant, because... It's not exactly you... cheap. It's not pure water. Okay. So you, you, you so don't expect to, to see it. Anyway. it. The okay. people that can afford it are not Some so people many. break their necks to afford it. A young girl died on the table somewhere in hmm. Lagos here trying to get it so be. at any cost. So really, at the end of the day, when all of that body goes away, because we see pictures of our parents that were looking really hot, and now we look at them <laughs> and we're like... Ah, mommy, what happened? Or oh, daddy, what happened, I'll right? You. <laughs> so I'm just saying that this would happen eventually when it is that the body won't be there. But what will, what will keep you in that relationship? What will keep you relevant as an individual is what you can bring to the table in terms of your intelligence and what you have to offer to the society away from your body, right? Mm -hmm. And I see that most times when we train our children, we're not saying, ah, you're, you're so nice, ah, you're so fine, you're so fine. We're teaching them values. Yeah. We're so teaching them character. Thing. We're teaching them other things aside their look. So those are the things that will make them stand in the society outside the way they look, right? But on the flip side, there's also the part of some parents, I've heard of some parents that will say that, Ooh, see you, you don't know what your mates they do, mm. right? Forcing those children to actually go That's all out, yeah. to use their bodies to provide for their families. So there are actually two sides to it also. Most times we think that parents are not supposed to be the ones influencing these kind of things, or we think that it's just a celebrity kind of gist. Celebrity and parents. Yes, yes but we see that even parents also, sometimes some parents, I'm not saying all parents, mm. do all those things to encourage. Yes. Um, Dalentin has called in from Kaduna. Good morning, Dalentin. My first question is, have you seen anyone in Kaduna with surgically enhanced? There are plenty, Abby. No, <laughs> no, no. Not at all. I have not, not seen. Not at all. He hasn't no. seen. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Please contribute. Yeah, good morning, first time caller. Welcome to the show. <laughs> in fact, I, in fact, be glad it's my heart that I'm able to get you people today. Uh, because I, I've been watching you for over between five, seven years. Mm. And uh, you, 
Thank you so much. You always keep me at home. I, as a business person, I have to go through this program before I leave, I leave home. Thank you so much. You see what the topic you are discussing is uh, is something that I is so much interesting and uh, it's something that I will only be feeling bad about. Mm. I won't see it through Facebook. And at the same time, oh, like uh, I want to quickly say, it's something that is detrimental to our children, most especially our youngest coming up, because this is something you know. At times, I try to, the school my children attend, they don't allow phones. But again, these are children that they, they usually give them some, some homework, some assignment that they needed to browse, they needed to make use of phone. And you discover at times, when they open phone, the first thing they will see that will pop up is things like this. Mm. And uh, if there is a way the government can regulate some of those things, it will be better because it's not really good and uh, most especially to win Nigeria. If we may see them happening in the Western world, but they have a way of regulating some of those things. But over here, we can take it to extreme that could be detri detrimental. Look at HIV, for instance. Is it so spread the way they, 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 in, in the Western world compared to the way they, they, they talk about it in, in Africa? So as you should tell us how vulnerable, how we could be, we could be so exposed to, to, to them and they could affect us adversely. That is my take. Thank you so much, Darlington. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was wondering, he, when um, Mr. Dai was talking, he was talking about, wasn't particularly talking about body type, right? Enhanced body parts. Or I don't know if yes, I missed that conversation. Yes, he wasn't talking about He was talking about, about people who believe that just because you're female and, and you have those body parts or you think you're hot, you think you're attractive, that, that's enough for you. So it's not necessarily also talking about those. Surgically enhanced those, bodies. But, but because we're talking about it, I also want to say that, you know, it's sad because we have also objectified women who are naturally born this way. Mm -hmm. And they are men. We have prejudged them sure. because they are born this way. They have that and there's nothing, whatever they wear, it would, that their body would show. But you just assume that this person is up to no good. And these people also are constantly fighting that societal perception of them before yes. you even get to know them. So this, uh, and I don't know if you find it interesting that we have more male colors, more male conversations when we're talking about things like women. that. Yes, and I always say women, men just seem to always find the time to pick out these things. Yeah. But without the things that without looking within and thinking, and looking to themselves. You're saying you want governments to be involved. How about the men involved? How about, um, how about their, the, the men's um, desires and the things that they are consuming? How about talking to men themselves? How about when a young girl who is bright and intelligent comes to your office and another one who seems bodacious and has done her body the and everything. Follows the body and it follows the body. And that person and many others like her see over and over again how those ones are picked over her. So bad. Okay, so Let's take Miriam. Um, she's called us on the show. Mm. Welcome to the show, Miriam. Calling from her papa. From one Good Miriam morning, to another Miriam. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, so my question is, are men not tired of this narrative of what women bring to the table? Mm. Are they not tired? What do they want women to bring to the table? Every discussion, what do women bring to the table? What do women bring to the table? I will tell you, you, you choose to see what we do not bring to the table. You refuse to see what we bring to the table. Yeah. I'll just give you a quick example. There's this case that is still ongoing. A popular rich man that was killed a few years ago, alleged to be killed by a young, beautiful girl. Mm. Check his story. Check who the wife is. She's the top player in the oil sector. Intelligent, beautiful. But this man chose a young, beautiful girl with whom he would do drugs and do rounds and rounds of stupidity. Mm. This is because this is what they want. You have continually chosen this over the other one. So why are you crying? Why are you criticizing what you desire? Why are you angry? You know what gives me consolation is the fact that I love the new generation young girls. They know what you want. They give you what you want. Deal with it. If you must criticize it, stay away from it. And exactly. they will now choose to show you what they bring to the table. Mm -hmm. We bring much more to the table. Not everybody will think of the Okonjo Iwala. 
Not everybody will be whoever. We all must choose what we want to be. But the truth is that what sells more is what they are giving you. Deal with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Mariam. Mm. We're going to take a break, but I love what she said, and I think we should let everybody, like digest. our viewers, <laughs> let, it, let them digest it. There's a market for it, and we are consistently using one mouth to say we want you to bring other things to the table, but we are going to the table where they put their bodies. We are not eating from the table where they put their mind, and they're asking if we should bring more to the table than just their bodies. Let's do more. We'll take a break. When we come back, I'll hear what Nima has to say. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.